Um, I've thought about this subject for some time and it's something that I wanted to uh, shoot small film on. So it's a big subject, big topic and uh, therefore big pipe everybody. Um, and really I'm talking about preparedness and <clears throat> I guess a lot of that comes uh, from the kind of the uh, prepping kind of approach, prepping community and I have a lot of interest in that because I'm very interested in self-sufficiency and I did a previous uh, film which seems to have been deleted on YouTube and I don't keep these things they're not scripted they're just thoughts and ideas that I have so I make them as I think them but uh, I did a thing on um, you know getting a skill learning a skill and I think you know my thoughts about preparedness are sort of to do with that about having practical skills hence the reason I built a workshop hence the reason I make things and fix things and I'm very much into that kind of approach and when you do those kind of things I think you develop a knowledge and you are able to exist in a way that uses maybe very little you learn how to uh, recycle things and upcycle things etc I'm very much into growing uh, you know our own food we've got uh, an allotment and we grow our own food and we do that organically uh, so we eat healthily uh, and it's you know it's all about that and in the past in my life you know there were 10 years of my life where I was a vegetarian I could go into all this kind of stuff how I've come to this point uh, you know that I'm at now but preparedness essentially you know it, it, it's it's about first and foremost I think it starts in your head it starts with asking questions asking why things are the way they are understanding history understanding the world um, being inquiring being inquisitive being interested um, you know getting away from what the media tells you is happening and actually looking into things and finding out about things yourself finding out about yourself ultimately and who you are and, and what you contribute to the world and what you can do you know so it's about empowerment and empowerment of thought and empowerment of actions and empowerment of ideas and putting those into practice and the uh, the great Ray Mears who's uh, very much a kind of outdoorsman and bushcrafter said the most valuable thing that a, a bushcrafter can carry is knowledge so it's also the lightest tool in your toolkit so you know be prepared and being prepared are all about um, waking up really it's just you know starting a process of uh, awareness in yourself and the world how things actually tick learning nature understanding how nature works the environment how to be adaptable uh, in you know various different environments and how to adapt yourself to those and I just think it's so important in these times these extraordinary times I should say that you know we are we acquire knowledge you'll never regret it you'll never regret the acquisition of knowledge you'll never turn around and say I wish I hadn't learned how to do that it just won't happen so real knowledge people with real skills being around people with real skills being around environments and people that you can learn from that can teach you will ultimately be the most valuable thing that you have beyond money beyond possessions uh, beyond materialistic things so you know learn a skill anything learn a skill whatever you can do you know grow your own food raise plants keep chickens you know keep bees do something for the environment do something for the community do something for yourself uh, your family and you will be a better person for it ultimately and you will create uh, a better environment ultimately so preparedness is is so important 
Um, you know, it's not the thing that people kind of associate with it and it was portrayed very negatively I think in the past because it sort of came from that whole survivalist thing and uh, you know people just think of militias uh, in the United States and things like that there there is nothing wrong with being prepared it's about being intelligent and being wise uh, to who you are and where you are and you know what you are and what's happening around you so the acquisition of skills and knowledge are probably the most important thing you will ever do in your life. And, uh, you know, I, I strongly recommend it. So I would say, you know, stop watching television. Um, I made a film about that once before. Stop watching television. You, you waste so much of your time just watching absolute garbage uh, about people like I've said before that you would never in real life invite into your home people whose uh, sort of ideas and ideals you don't agree with and things like that select what you're interested in you know use your library uh, go out and find older people people who've had experience of past times and difficulties and things like that if you're lucky enough to have family and grandparents and you know, people around you, talk to them, you know, learn from them uh, and become a better person, ultimately. So it's uh, it's not a crazy thing. It's not a, uh, you know, a, a, a sort of a mad thing. The, the acquisition of knowledge and skills is the most important thing that you can do in your life uh, and you will never regret it. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to smoke my big pipe and I will leave you in peace, okay?